Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I paint this camouflage that I did on this motorcycle. Uh, I think it came out pretty good. Same kind I did in some of my rifle videos. And what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm going to be doing a motorcycle helmet that I wear, rarely use, but sometimes I do. And I figured, what the hell, why not match it to the bike? So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. You need three different colors to do this. I use four sometimes, but today I'm only using three. You need ultra flat camo paint, tan, green, and black. Those are the three colors I'm going to be using. So without further ado, let's get to it. First things first, uh, clean the helmet, wipe it down with alcohol or Windex, something. And what I'm also doing is here, you see the blue tape. I put the helmet on and I put a piece of tape where I don't need to see. And what it's also going to do is it's going to act as a, uh, a sun blocker so you don't burn your face when you're riding because sometimes I get on the bike, I don't get off for eight hours. So what I'm going to do is uh, give this a quick wipe down again and get to shooting it. I'll show you how I do it. All right, first layer is always a base layer of tan complete. That's the way I like to do it personally. So I'm going to shoot this right now real quick. Two light coats. All right, we'll let that dry and I'll hit it with another coat. You don't need to cover the whole thing completely with the first coat, so don't try. If you do, you're too thick, so you, you want to be able to see a little base layer of the underpaint uh, when you're done with your first coat. Your second coat will give you complete coverage on the paint. All right, I just hacked a couple pieces off my neighbor's bush, and this is the kind of bush I'm going to be using. I'm not exactly sure what, what you call it, but this is what I'm after right here. So what I'm going to do is, I hacked a few pieces off, I'm going to break them down so there's not big bunches of, uh, like right here. See that, how it's kind of thick? I'll trim that out and open it up so they all kind of look like this portion. And then, uh, then I'll get to shoot in the second layer. Um, I put three coats of the tan, not two, because I wanted to get really good coverage on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take the, the green, I'm going to hold it right here, and shoot the green over it and wait till you see the result you'll see the uh, you really see it pop pretty quick with the green and then we'll finish it off with a coat of black too okay it's uh, it's been drying for about 15 minutes I'm gonna use a layer of green I thinned out the bush just a little bit I kinda liked it the way it looked so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it like this right against there just like that I'm gonna shoot over it directly at it. Quick little burst like that. That's it. Now you move away. Move it to a different spot. Shoot over it a little. That's it. You're better off uh, taking your time and shooting a little tiny bit. Now you can see the paint blobs up on this pretty quick. So you got to be careful. You don't want to. You don't want to have to remove all the blobs. Just a quick shot and move it. Nice thing I like about this paint job is if you get hit by a rock or something like that, it's literally so fast to you can fix it in five minutes. Just grab a branch and shoot over it. You can kind of tell how that's uh yeah, you can kind of see that in the video. How it's starting to take. Let's move the camera over a little. Let's 
I like the detail it gives. I think it looks pretty cool. And it's different than just a regular just a regular camo job, you know? Yeah, you can see this paint starting to blob up, so I'll give it a little, a couple more tries, a couple more shots, and then I'm going to back off, let it dry a little bit. That's all it takes. Gives you some cool detail. Yep, I'm going to take a break because that's getting kind of heavy with paint. And if I don't, I'm going to start getting big chunks and blobs on there. So let me actually just switch to a different piece. This is a piece I used the other day when I was doing some touch-up on, on the motorcycle itself. So make sure you shake your can too, pretty good. Get that stuff mixed up in there. I think this is going to look good when it's done. I hope so. It's either going to look good or it's going to look stupid. I hope it doesn't look stupid. I'll tell you one thing, it's going to look different. Now I have blue painters tape on there. It's gonna come right off of the plastic, nice. When you spray light coats like this, it's nice because you don't really have to stop. When you do the heavy layer, you gotta stop. You gotta wait for it to dry. But this, this whole helmet will take me a total of about a half an hour to do, and that's it. I'm done. I'll just leave it in the sun, let it dry for an hour, and go riding. Got to do the top. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna leave it like that with the green. I'm done with the green. Maybe a little more right here. Basically all you're doing is you're blocking the, the bottom layer from getting hit. And it gives it nice, I think it looks pretty good. Now what I'll do is uh, I'll let that dry for about maybe five minutes and I'll start shooting the black and then I'm done. Okay, so I'm running out of my time. I only got a 15 minute time limit. I'm not sure how much I've used already, but I'm ready to shoot the black. So I'm gonna shoot a little bit of the black. I'll show you what it looks like. And then uh, I'm gonna shut the video off and finish it off. 
and then I'll show you at the end how it looks when it's all done. This just gives it a nice little color accent. The black over the green. Yeah, it shines nice. Well, it doesn't shine, but it looks good. It's gonna blend in with the bike nice. With the black, I don't really go too crazy. Just a little bit, and you can see how it's gonna... Yeah, you can kind of see that in the video. Hopefully. Let me move it around to the back. Yep, it's gonna help it stand out. Grab another piece that's kind of getting wet. Yep, it's looking good. I don't like this piece, this piece is too flimsy. Hey, I just touched it with my finger. So what do we do? We shoot over it again. Done. Fixed. Almost done. This piece is way too wet. I gotta get rid of it. I'll go back to the original piece because it had a couple minutes to dry. Right here and I'm done, that's it. That's it, I'm done. So I'm gonna let it dry and then uh, I'll just let it sit in the sun for an hour. I'll be able to go riding. Hope this helps.